In this video, I'm going to be comparing the differences and similarities between the AirPod Max and the AirPod Pro. Is the AirPod Max worth $550 and what is the right pair for you? All in this video. So let's get started. Roll the intro. <laughs> Apple's AirPod Max and AirPod Pros, they both offer high quality active noise cancellation and top notch audio quality. And they both have world class Apple luxurious design. We're going to be starting off with the differences. What is the difference between the AirPod Max and the AirPod Pro? So, the first difference is the price. So, AirPod Max are currently going for about $550, that is US dollars, while the AirPod Pros are probably going for about $200. That's a $330 difference right there. So the second difference, the AirPod Max, they are over-the-ear headphones while the AirPod Pros are in-ear headphones. What that means is that the AirPod Max is basically a headset, a headphone, while the AirPod Pros are just earphones. The third difference is that AirPod Max, they have volume controls, while AirPod Pros, they don't have volume controls. So now that we are done with the differences, let's go to the similarities. So what are the similarities between the AirPod Max and the AirPod Pro? So straight up the bat, we know that they both have active noise cancellation. This active noise cancellation works well because I own the AirPod Pro. Sadly, I do not have the AirPod Max. I don't think I'm going to be getting it because the price is just overpowered. The price is overpriced. It is not expensive. It is premium. It's, it's the premium lineup for Apple and I don't think I'm going to be getting the AirPod Max anytime soon. So I can only talk about the AirPod Pros which I use at the gym. And, and when you're at the gym, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people and, the, and the gym itself, they are playing their own background music. And there are a lot of people gisting, chatting. So anytime I go to the gym, I just plug in the AirPod Pros, and literally, I just block everybody out when the uh, when the active noise cancellation comes on. It's just beautiful. Like it just puts me in the zone. I'm in the zone. I listen to the music. I concentrate. I get I get the energy I need to push through the reps, to push through the sets. And I think going to the gym without the AirPod Pros at this point is going to be a serious drawback. Like it's a like it's a necessity now at the gym because active noise cancellation is so important in 2021. The second similarity between the AirPod Max and AirPod Pro is that they are both expensive. One is expensive, the other is premium. So AirPod Pro, they are expensive, they are $200, that's expensive to most people. Why the AirPod Max, those are premium goods, $550 right there, that is a lot of money to put into an headphone. They are even more expensive than the Astro A50. It's also expensive, just so overpriced for the average Joe to get. So it's going to be all those audio enthusiasts or Apple enthusiasts that get the AirPod Max. Or maybe if you want to flex, you can just flex your muscles. You can just literally flex your muscles. You can just flex your people by getting the AirPod Max just for exclusive purposes. Because, because as I said earlier, these are premium goods, so not everybody is going to have it. So if you want to stand out from the crowd or you just like getting attention, get the AirPod Max, use all your money to get that shit. It's going to make you stand out, get the attention you want. It's your money. <laughs> so the third similarity between the AirPod Max and AirPod Pro is that they both have excellent audio quality. So listening to songs from them is actually a beauty because they have excellent audio quality. You can do video call with them. So moving on to the fourth similarity, they both have excellent build quality. We all know and love Apple's build quality. They are designed. It's just world class. It's just on a different level. So they both have that exclusive Apple world class design and build quality so the fifth reason goes to those that use siri actively they both come with hands free siri so you don't have to touch any device. you can literally say hey siri and siri will answer you and you can just get voice command voice control with the hands free siri that comes with the airpod max and the airpod pro one of the similarities that they have is that they don't have any adjustable equalizer set so users cannot mess with the equalizer setting if they want more treble they want more bass so at the airpod max are they worth 550 dollars over the AirPod Pro. In my opinion, I'm going to say no because the portability of the AirPod Pros and the low profile and the active noise cancellation actually makes it a very, very important headphones to get, especially if you are going outdoors, especially if you are traveling and then and then you love listening to music, you just like getting in the zone, you don't like you don't like noise or you see a noisy environment or you come from a noisy family and a lot of people make noise around you, you can just get the AirPod Pros which are the cheaper version of the AirPod Max because not everybody can afford the AirPod Max. So what is the right option for you? So I'm going to say that if you have an iPhone and then you are in the market, you are looking for active noise cancellation and then your voice is around $200, I'll say you should get the AirPod Pros because they are cheaper and you are going to obviously get solid high quality 
active noise cancellation from them and also very good audio quality on the other hand if you have so much money and you are just about the premium exclusive apple products you want to be the first person to get this product or you want to be the only person that has this product in your school in your university wherever you are at your workplace you can just you want to use it for a massive flex i'm going to say go for the airport mark because as the name says these are max flex to flex on people if you understand that from the crowd you just want to be noticed or you just want to know that yes i'm the only one using this product so you can shell out the 550 dollars is your money at the end of the day so that is my recommendation guys so thank you for watching if you like the video please go down below and like this video and also subscribe and turn on post notifications because i'm going to be dropping a lot of videos in the coming weeks i just did a massive tech unboxing overall video i'm going to leave it in the cards above and description below so guys thank you for watching i'm going to see you in the next video peace